six barbershop fragrance in one video. Let's see which one is good. Hey guys and welcome to yet another video of fragrance jam and today I'll be discussing a few of the barbershop fragrances, six to be specific. Now as we hear the name, these are the kind of fragrances that will remind you about a barbershop. I have six fragrances with me right now. There are a lot of fragrances available, uh, you know, for this DNA, but these six are my favorite. So let's discuss them one by one and just an FYI, there is no specific sequence here. I'm just taking the fragrances randomly. So the first one is David of Zeno and uh, it is a classic fragrance. I mean, a timeless classic masterpiece. I don't know how they created this fragrance, but this fragrance reeks classicness and uh, quality. This is what I have for this fragrance. I mean, uh, only for mature crowd. Um, I, I don't think it is suitable at all for young people but uh, if you are wearing this in office it is a style statement just consider a person wearing a blazer a full packed blazer with black shoes this is what this perfume will remind you of uh, inexpensive you'll be able to get this for around 2000 or 2500 and uh, i believe this is discontinued so if you get your hands on this one just make sure that you buy one uh, david of zeno mustache edt now this is not uh, your mustache edp the dark one this is uh, you know the the less talk brother now i don't know why people don't talk about this perfume because i believe this is better in quality and uh, you know everything as compared to the edp version which is i believe just not not that much good uh, this is a barbershop fragrance and uh, it goes on a little bit citrus side this is uh, fresh not like your you know lavender it is fresh lavender as well as citrus this is what i get here and uh, uh, mature this will remind you of uh, you know the inside of a barbershop like all the barbershop fragrances remind you of um, good the bottle is very good bottle is heavy presentation is good and again uh, a statement maker uh, the only uh, issue with this fragrance is the longevity longevity is not that good but uh, if you are able to respray this perfume it is the best bogart porom this is again one of my favorite uh, barbershop scent very less people are aware about this perfume i got this from a mall i was not even looking for it uh, the guy just uh, sprayed it and uh, you know asked me to sniff it and i purchased it uh, very good very juicy fragrance uh, you know not dry kind of thing like uh, let's say other fragrances that we are about to discuss it's very juicy very live it will give you a lot of energy and positive vibes if you're using this fragrance uh, the only disadvantage about this perfume is the bottle uh, the cap is very bad i mean whenever you spray this perfume there is always some juice that will you know get stick here this is the bad thing apart from this everything about this perfume reeks quality uh, bogart porom the fourth one in this list is bushron jaipur porom and this is the edt version not the edp and uh, like all the other fragrances like all the other barbershop fragrances remind you of the inside of a barbershop this will remind you of uh, you know the products that they use in barbershop the closest thing that i can relate here with this one is shaving foam so if you have sniffed a shaving foam you know not not that cream i'm referring to that form the spray things that they have so that and this is similar there is no difference you know this is just the perfume and that is the foam this is what i have figured it out so far so is it worth buying yes for men for women it is not that good i don't think uh, they'll appreciate it on them but they might appreciate it on the men who have sprayed it so yes this is a statement maker again office wear you can wear it anytime completely inoffensive and uh, budget fragrance bushra on jaipur poro rms tuscany per omo and uh, this is uh, some mature stuff now you can see how much i've used this perfume there's hardly anything left here i'm looking for another bottle as soon as the price is good because this fragrance is 
a bit expensive as compared to the other fragrances here that we have discussed um, I, was, I was looking for it once i get it i'll just replace this empty bottle very good again the same genre uh, there's nothing different about this perfume here it is a barbershop fragrance which will smell like the typical barbershop stuff there's nothing different here i mean this perfume is a timeless classic the only difference between this and the other fragrances is that this has more depth this is what i observed everything about this perfume is good classic timeless and mature the only issue about this fragrance is the longevity everything is good the longevity is bad um i i get hardly four hours from this fragrance and uh, that's it so this is what i get from this perfume uh tuscany porumo by aramis and uh, do try if you are you know if you love this dna azaro porum now you can see how much i love this fragrance i got the biggest bottle available in the market and uh, this is how much i love this perfume this is the best i've been using this perfume from last four years and uh, i am not bored at all i can apply this fragrance uh, you know 24 by 7 still it is not my signature scent because i i don't think i'll be able to make it right now but uh, you know the best according to me in uh, the barbershop line because almost all the other fragrances are inspired by this dna this is a timeless classic mature subtle manly and uh, everyone around you will appreciate this one so this is the last one in the list azaro poro so this is what i have for the list do mention the name of your favorite barbershop fragrance in the comment section i'll be waiting for it thank you for watching do share and subscribe if you like the content i'll be seeing you in the next video take care and have a great day this is hard